You know what? I think I just like to do these cosplays because I get to play around with makeup. Hey, Seed Squad! Hi. Today is Mommy Seed and Nadia Seed. Or just Nadia. <laughs> it's just the two of us today. How do you like that? It's kind of cool, right? Kind of cool. No boys today, just the girls. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm, looking cool, we're gonna be looking cool because today we are doing the cosplay of a wrinkle in time. I'm gonna be playing as Oprah, whose character in the movie is Mrs. Witch. If you have a chance to be Oprah for a day, go for it. And I will be playing as Storm Reed in the movie. Her name is Meg Murray. That's right. So I'm really excited to play her. Yay! So this movie will be brand new to us, but Nigel's read the book. So if you've read the book, A Wrinkle in Time, tell us down in the comments. Tell us what you thought of the book. He loved it. They always say the book is a lot better than the movie, but you know. I, I kind of feel like the movies are better because it has like a picture in it. It's actually other people telling the stories. Well, the story is always changed up a bit yeah. for a movie. A bit. A lot. I, I they have to change it up a lot. A lot. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, a lot. A lot. A bit. <laughs> what word do you want me to use? A. They have to change it up, A. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Something's missing there. Let's get started. All right, let's do it. Are you ready to become Meg? Yes. Nadia, it's your time. Be a warrior. Okay, all right. So I'm going to start with my makeup and then move on to my outfit. So I am recreating Meg's poster and it kind of looks like she has a little pink and purple for the lids and then like a little bit of pink for your lips. So I'm using this purple from Sephora and the color is called Place to Be. This one is also from Sephora and this color is called Palm Pool. You know what? I think I just like to do these cosplays because I get to play around with makeup. Actually, I think this looks pretty cute. Actually, if I think it was just all purple, that would be really pretty on me, just like this. And I had like a nice dress, and I was like going to somewhere fancy. Ooh, that would be nice. <laughs> Comment down below which one you like more. If you like mommy's costume more, if it, or if you like my costume more. So make sure you pick me for but I'm with this. You see, no guns, guns. No guns, guns. No guns, guns. Team Nadia or team mommy seed. So make sure you pick team Nadia. Which one do you like more, this eye or this eye? This, it's the right eye for me. <laughs> Get it? Cause it's like a right, my right eye and like right. Okay, that's that's just not. Me. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll stop now. So I'm done with my eyes, but I, it looks like I put a little bit too much. And makes a girl. She doesn't wear that much, so I'm gonna use this clean brush that doesn't have anything on it and brush it off some. So onto the lips, I'm using this gloss from Bare Minerals called Birthday Cake. I like to like stretch my mouth like when um, I do my makeup for lip gloss so I can really see which parts to get. And if I get outside of the lines, I know where I can go. So I got outside the lines. Sometimes I do this too with this. So makeup's all done and on to the next part. So I already had these two shirts, but I got this plaid shirt from a thrift store just for this cosplay. Am I starting to look like Meg? Wait till you see what I do next. So this is my final look, guys. How do you like it? I'm really feeling like Meg now. I if you like my looks the best, then be sure to comment down below and vote for Team Nadia. Nadia, I need you to look exactly like this for the thumbnail, okay? Okay. Do it. 
<laughs> I'm about to do my best to recreate the look of Oprah as Mrs. Witch in the movie. As you can see, I've already <laughs> prepped my head for the hair that's about to come. Now, Oprah wears some serious wigs in this movie. They are kind of outrageous, but I like them. And her look in the movie is very platinum. She's got the platinum blonde hair, platinum makeup, platinum clothes. So let's see what I can create here. I'm going to start with a little foundation and I use Bare Minerals, Bare Pro, Clove 28. So I'm going to start with that. Okay, so next up I'm going to do some blush and I'm using MAC in Raisin. Okay, this is the biggest part of the makeup look. It's the eyes. So bear with me as I try to create this. Just wait, you'll see. So first I'm gonna just take some eyeliner and try to outline the eye with that little swoosh she has. One eye down, what do you think? You really need to be an artist to do this. I'm not an artist. Okay, so I did the outline, and next I'm gonna fill it in with some black eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna go over top with this sparkly eyeshadow. It's got this black sparkle in there, and I think that's gonna look really pretty with this look. Now normally I don't like putting black under my eye. This makes me look like I have a black eye. But Mrs. Witch has this look, so I'm gonna go for it. Okay, next up is the lips. So again, she goes with that platinum color and I have some Viva Glam from MAC and I think that's the perfect platinum color to use for this. Now her platinum lip seems to be topped off with a little purpley pink color. I don't have that exact color, but I'm gonna try to recreate it with two colors. I have Crown Me from Lip Bar and, and this one's so old, I don't even know where this is from. It says Patina. I can't, I can't tell if Patina is the brand name or not, but we're just gonna go for it. Sweet dreams. Okay, so last up for the face is the jewels that Mrs. Witch has around her eyes and on her forehead. I said the eyes were gonna be the hardest part, but I think this might be the hardest part. Let's see. Yeah, I can already feel this falling, so I can't put it on the eyebrow right like she did. I'm gonna try to go above the eyebrow and see if that works. Stay, 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 stay. You know what, I have a strong feeling I should've put everything else on before I did this jewelry part because it's already fallen off. And if I put anything on, I think it's all gonna come off. Ooh. Done, okay, I got them on. I'm about to go to the next part, but you see how hard I'm working here? You see what I just had to go through for this jewelry? So, if you think you are feeling Mommy Seed's look the most, then I want you to vote for Team Mommy Seed down in the comments, all right? So what's it gonna be, Team Nadia or Team Mommy Seed? Team Mommy Seed, vote down in the comments. To cap off my look, the hair. It's all about this hair. It's all about that blonde platinum hair. This is my final look as Mrs. Witch. This was fun with the jewels and the makeup. Are you voting for Mommy C for the best recreation of a Wrinkle in Time character? Mommy C, tell me down below in the comments that you vote for me. Or maybe you vote for Nadia as Meg. She did a great job as well. Let her know down in the comments. Either way, thanks for watching. Let us know, do you like to see us do these cosplay videos? If there's anybody else you'd like to see us recreate, let us know that as well. And are you part of the Seed Squad? All you have to do is subscribe, ring the bell so you can make sure you get notifications of when we publish videos, and like our videos. Simple as that. Then you're part of the Seed Squad and you can be down with us. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Remember to explore your genius and get loose. Sweet dreams.